Former President Donald Trump hosted Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban at his Mar-a-Lago resort for an hour-long meeting on Friday night, followed by attendance at a tribute band concert. Sources familiar with the matter informed media. The meeting was described by one source as a social with no specific agenda, while another characterized it as friendly. Orban sought the meeting with Trump and had plans to visit U.S. independently. According to Trump's team, the discussion covered various issues reflecting both Hungary and the United States, emphasizing the significance of robust and secure borders for safeguarding the national sovereignty. The meeting also underscored Trump's propensity to engage with like-minded leaders globally, sometimes at the expense of traditional U.S. allies. Despite Orban's controversial populism, anti-immigration stance, and opposition to LGBTQ rights, he remains a popular figure about Trump's base, aligning with "Make America Great Again" ideology. The Biden administration, meanwhile, also did not extend any invitation to Orban for a meeting with President Joe Biden, and Orban also did not request a meeting during his U.S. trip. However, President Biden expressed concern about the meeting later on between Orban and Trump, suggesting that he finds it very troubling. While the Biden administration refrained from commenting extensively on Orban's meeting with Trump, President Biden addressed the issue during a campaign-style event in Pennsylvania. He highlighted Orban's authoritarian tendencies, quoting Orban's statement, expressing skepticism about democracy and his preference for dictatorship. Orban's alignment with Trump's political ideology has been evident in the past, as he has spoken at the Conservative Political Action Conference (CPAC), which is an annual gathering of pro-Trump supporters. Hungary is set to host another CPAC overseas conference next month, further highlighting the ideological rapport between Orban and Trump's followers.